Okay, we're gonna delve in to the ZFG Prans Brake Launch Control. Now, what you need to do is you hit your throttle to the desired RPM and let her eat and hold on because she's gonna be a wild ride. Let's go! Bye, pumpkin. I'm gonna see you later. Yeah, good girl. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Southdown Garage. My name is Kurt and today we're heading out to a undisclosed location to do some shooting. Actually, we're doing some data logging and some testing. So let's hop into the Explorer and let's go to somewhere nice and quiet to do some testing. On this new tune that you saw me post a video on Thursday. Let's go. Let's start this video by doing ourselves a nice little cold start. We already have a check engine light on this thing, gosh dang it. So I'm gonna have to quickly scan it. I'm pretty sure, I'm fairly certain that it's a rich condition on bank one, bank two. Oh, that's the misfiring the missus was talking about. Interesting. Happening live right now, I'm getting some misfires. Wonder if that changes if I change over to race mode. Well, I'm gonna have to change those plugs when I get back. But you know what you should do anytime you're having any faults is you should go test it on a hard, wide open throttle because that's smart. All right, so we're out in an undisclosed location and we're gonna, we're gonna do some data logging. Now, once you've done this tune, you're like me, you've just done this tune, maybe you've already done a little bit of work to your previous tune, so you're not just buying this. If you've just bought this tune, then disregard everything I'm going to say. Uh, we're not recording yet. So, um, I have my neighbor here, he's decided to come with me and offer his life to uh, the data log gods so right now we're in tow mode so when you buy this tune every mode has to be tuned for something and then once that is once it's tuned for once you pick all your tunes then you can install this so what we're going to do is we're going to start from 2000 rpm in third gear i'm just going to get up to third gear just hit the record button and let me know when we're good. We're good. And we're going to go hard to 6,000 RPM. Apparently, apparently it doesn't like going past that. Okay. So then we're going to switch modes again. We're going to go to sport mode. And we're going to do this again. So now we're at 2,000 RPM. Hard acceleration. That's 6,000 RPM. Oh dear. And then we're gonna go to eco mode, which is gonna be like, oh, how do I check RPM in eco mode? Oh, this is annoying. What RPM am I at? What's going on? How come all my logs are missing? So what happened? We had a little mishap with the data logging. Oh, I've got like a, a dodge on mirrors. You should let him get the ticket. I should let him get the ticket. You know what I'm going to do? So there's a dodge on me. I should let him get the ticket. And then we're going to do some data logging here. Let's just pull over. I'll let this guy by. Have fun, buddy. I would smoke you. He's hiding up here. We're gonna switch modes here, all the way back to tow haul again, so hit record.
What's going on? Okay, stop. It, uh, it just goes away when I disconnect. Like, what do you no, mean? like disconnect the, from the vehicle. We had some challenges while we're out here doing some filming, um, so I can't show you any zero to sixties or quarter mile times. But basically, this is what we're doing. We're getting ready for the next video, basically for you guys so you can see what this launch control is because it is amazing launch control i can't wait to show you the dms tune is phenomenal like you have all these different modes when you first switch into it when you first download it you're going to want to make sure you go through all the modes that's what i did on my way out to this beautiful testing area we we're doing at an undisclosed uh, racetrack then when you get out to where you're gonna go, you can data log. And, and for us, we're having issues with the laptop, so we couldn't use the laptop. I'll have to talk to Adam about it, see if there's a file I can get from him so I can data log, but it would not data log uh, with the laptop for whatever reason. So I data log with the phone. I did two data logs, and for whatever reason, the second one didn't save. So I'm not sure what I did wrong. We'll find out later when I get home, but at least I've got one file to send Adam. Hopefully he can see what's going on. Always keep in mind that when you get the first file, there's gonna be some revisions, there's gonna be some stuff that you need to go through. So now that this is all done, we can send everything back in and we can come back out and test it. But before I go, I wanna show you how this thing sets up on the, the trans brake, and then we'll leave you with that cliffhanger. Okay, we're gonna delve in to the ZFG trans brake launch control. Step one, get it into the desired mode that you've spoken about with Adam and turn off traction control. Step two, put that brake into the floor, as far in as you can, right like this. Both hands, pull back, stab the throttle. Just want it to at least 2000 RPM. Release the down. Take your foot off the brake. If you have everything set up properly, you hit this button, it will bump it forward. Right now, it's not bumping forward. Now, what you need to do is you hit your throttle to the desired RPM and let her eat. And hold on, because she's going to be a wild ride. Let's go. <laughs> Here's something you never want to do. While you've got your vehicle set up on ethanol, you want to run it as low as possible. See that small yellow line? That means I'm about to run out. So, ah, fart. Nope, he's training his dog. Thank you, sir. I'm just gonna go, 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 go. All right, don't run out of fuel, baby. You can do it. I have faith. I'm sorry, car. You also shouldn't run out of fuel where you can't get ethanol either. <laughs> That's not smart. So we're gonna put something in and then get home. On 93, and we're gonna see if this thing starts. Will it start? I don't wanna leave you hanging with uh, what was going on at the beginning of this video, but I pulled the spark plug out and you can see the porcelain was cracked on it. So that would be uh, one of our misfires. The other thing is we've got about three that are showing really rich and three that are showing fine. Because we're getting a rich code, I thought maybe it was the tune. So uh, as you saw at the end of the video, we had to fill up with 93. Uh, I tuned it back to 93 so that we could see if this is uh, tune related or something else. And I feel like something else is going on because I've been in contact with our tuner quite a bit, sending him log files, trying to see what's going on. Uh, we've been having uh, intermittent hard starting. So basically it'll crank over a bunch of times and people have thought maybe it's 
when I change out the injectors, I might have left a line slightly loose and it's leaking a little bit. The problem is it's not an issue um, if you leave it for a few days or you leave it for a week or whatever. Uh, it's a problem between when it's warm and starting it back up again when it's warm. It's gotta be something else. Um, I was trying to do some searching online. I haven't found anything yet. I'm kind of a little weary about driving it spiritively when I'm having these issues. Granted, when I'm driving at speeds, I'm not having any issues at all. But when I'm starting it up now, instead of having a misfire on three and six, I'm having a misfire on two and five. And I never even swap those coils. I swap the coils from three and six to one and four just to uh, see if that's going on. I don't know why now two and five are misfiring, but I have all new plugs in there. Uh, the other problem was when I bought these plugs, they were supposed to be colder plugs. Unfortunately, I didn't really check that these were colder. My bad, I have colder plugs in there now, but I'm still having an issue. So, don't know, uh, gotta do some digging. Gonna start asking some friends and then we'll try to see if we can figure out what's going on. Like I said, don't wanna beat on it with it the way it is, cause that would just be stupid. Um, and I'm not about to be that stupid. So maybe uh, not a whole lot of stuff coming going on right now for the Explorer. Uh, we'll see. But uh, I want to thank you guys for watching this episode of Southdown Garage. If you like this video, hit that like button. Consider subscribing. If you haven't already done so, take a look at our merch. It's at southdowngarage.shop. And pick something up if there's something there you would like. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Take care. We'll see you on another episode of Southdown Garage. Bye for now!